felt isolated, humiliated at times. He briefed the newspapers at the time. 14 occasions of paid lobbying. I think we are absolutely fucked. We're thinking, what do we do on this? At this point, the second most powerful official in the country, Helen McNamara, is the Deputy Cabinet Secretary. She walked into the office while we're looking at this whiteboard. She says, I've just been talking to the official, Mark Sweeney, who is in charge of coordinating with the Department for Health. He said, quote, I've been told for years that there is a whole plan for this. There is no plan. We're in huge trouble. I've come through here to the, Helen McNamara said, I've come through here to the Prime Minister's office to tell you all, quote, I think we are absolutely fucked. I think this country is heading for a disaster. I think we're going to kill thousands of people. Do you recognise that given your responsibility to uphold the ministerial code, to uphold the rules, yes, to uphold yes, the standards, yes, it's really important that you should not give any impression that when there is an independent report that found on 14 occasions of paid lobbying that somehow you think that's no, okay. Can you clarify? Of course, you don't of think course, it's okay of course I did. and you and don't of think I did. that Owen, what Owen Pet Patterson did was of right. Of course I did. And, I was, and that was the first thing I said when I, when I, uh, when I uh, uh, began on this subject two weeks ago. Okay. And frankly, I think, you know, I, be, I, I, think, it, I think it is extraordinary uh, that colleagues sometimes do uh, behave in this way. And, uh, and, and it is quite right that the Commissioner is able to investigate and, and to hold them to account. What's, what's the origin of this, uh, this dispute? I have no idea. I mean, I, I just, I, you know, I work directly with the Prime Minister from the start of this. And, of course, I worked with his, um, his aides and his team as well. And um, I, I, I have no idea. Did you know that he wanted the Prime Minister to fire you? Uh, yes, because he briefed the newspapers at the time. Right. Or somebody briefed the newspapers. I now have a better idea of who it was. And did you raise an objection to that? Yes, of course. And I had the Prime Minister's wholesome support all the way through. And was that problematic in your discharge of your duties in Whitehall that, that this was happening in the newspapers, in the, in the public prints, but also reflecting discussions that were taking place in Downing Street? Well, I think the best thing to say about this, and this will be corroborated by lots of people in government, the best thing to say is that government has operated better over the past six months. Felt isolated, humiliated at times, um, constant use of the word packy. Um, in 2017 pre-season tour, we were in a, in a place and Gary Balance walks over and goes, why are you talking to him? You know he's a packy. Um, or he's not a shake, he's got no oil. End of 2017, um, we had a really difficult pregnancy. Um, and through that, um, through that time, the treatment that I received from some of the club officials were inhuman. Um, my first instance uh, of drinking, I actually got pinned down at my local cricket club um, and red wine got poured down my throat. How old were uh, you? 15. 15, you're a Muslim, 15. 15 year old, um, I got um, literally uh, down my throat, um, the player played for Yorkshire, 